Welcome to distance drawing, guys. Hello, everybody, again. And if you're new here, this is Distance Drawing. I'm Rob. I work at the Kershaw County Library. Hello, everyone on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Um, this is a charade slash Pictionary type game. And so we'll have a topic and feel free to chime in any kind of answers you think of what I am drawing. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start with my first image. I'm gonna try to keep the first image really simple. So um, feel free to make any comments. And then afterwards, Hannah will provide a key so that you can see if you got your answers right or not. And we'll acknowledge anyone who um, has any um, correct answers. So, I'm going to start with my first image. And this is something that you can find in any science lab. And maybe a mad scientist might have one of these. And so, they might be making a a um, you know a concoction to take over the world um, so what I want to know is what is this right here and you find it in most science labs does anybody have any guesses so what is the thing called what is that called guys what do you think it is science fiction. <clears throat> I think science fiction is an appropriate title for today's topic considering we're kind of in a science fiction movie already considering we've had to shut everything down and it's kind of dystopian. And anyway, um, moving on, uh, if you have any guesses as to what this is, um, just in the comments, you can make a comment or you could, uh, you know, after the video um, post later on, uh, you could uh, make a comment then. Um, anyway, the next thing you might see that um, is uh, sticking with the theme of science fiction is, uh, this should be easy. These are things that are, you know, out of this world, and they have, they usually are portrayed with big hands, and maybe you might find them on another planet, and they refer to, her, to us as earthlings, and um, I know they're back in the 90s, if you ever remember the stickers, you could get in the front of like the stores, stickers with the heads that look like this and sometimes they're referred to as extraterrestrials. So does anybody have a guess as to what this little guy is? Any guesses on the little guy? All right so we have a correct guess on the left for the left item. Okay. So correct guess from Julie. Okay good job Julie. All right, awesome. So we got need a guess for the right. What is the little guy on the right? What is this guy? It's not the best art uh, artwork in the world, but I'm, this is what charades is. It's just a quick drawing. It's not anything fancy. Um, so sticking with the science fiction theme, um, my next image kind of goes along with this image. Julie's got the one on the right. Correct, okay. as well. Good job, awesome. Julie. Two points for Julie. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is this. And this is a very simple image. And then usually they have something like this. And this actually, this image right here was actually in the news recently. 
um, because of all the crazy things that have been going on, they actually um, said, um, I think the, uh, there was a couple of news articles that I've seen about some of these objects. So what are these objects? What do you think these are? And they usually coincide with this one. Does anyone have a guess as to what this is? That guy right there. That object. Okay, I'm gonna, I have a few more um, images we're gonna uh, go with. Um, I'm gonna flip on over to the next slide. There we go. Um, sticking with the science fiction thing. Okay, now these, no matter where you're at in science fiction. Okay, Rose said the last one um, correctly. Okay, so we've got a correct answer from Rose for the good last Good job, Rose. Good job, Julie. Um, the next um, image, you can't go anywhere in science fiction without these. You really can't go anywhere um, in science fact without these. Um, you see these pretty much every night. Um, so what are these? And these are very simple drawings. Maybe you might see a cloud, but I'm really wanting to know what these are. Does anybody know what these are? And they're made of tiny balls of dust. Can anyone guess what those are? Our little gassy friends in the sky. What are those? Okay, I'll give some people a couple chances to guess. And what we see is typically they're already gone by the time we see them. Okay, now my next image I am going to be a little bit more science fiction with and a little bit more... Correct pop. guess from Mr. Teach. Mr. Teach. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Teach. On and also, um, Stacy, her children are correct as well. So, Layton, I believe, and Max say, say it correctly as well. Good Please job. forgive me, darlings, if I said it wrong. <laughs> okay. Julie said it right, too. All right, right, we've got a lot of good guesses. Great job, guys. <laughs> okay, so I want to know what the, who can figure out this one. Um, this, is a pop, this is a pop culture reference, actually, and I'm going to try my best to draw this. But, um, I actually practiced this a little bit this morning. <laughs> so basically, let's see. Oh, I know what this Popular is. Popular. You guys got to know. It's pretty good. Normally, Yay. this would all be black. And there's a famous line that even if you haven't seen the movies, you know who this character is. He's a mean, bad guy. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Good job, Julie. Julie got it. <laughs> Good job, Julie. All right. Um, so he's a very bad character. Um, You're redeemable in the so end. So, I probably have one more um, item that I want to have you guys guess. Okay. And let's see. Stars. Um, this next image that I'm going to do is yes. going to coincide with this image. So, this will be very easy to guess and then It'll be my last thing for you guys today. But um, basically, this, um, this, and then when they activate it, it's like, it's 
So, what did I use to fight mainly with? These with characters. Guy. So, um. They glow and have light. Does anybody know what this is? I'll give y'all a couple seconds to guess. They can be red or blue. One of the characters also had a purple one. Yes. So... Again, Hannah will post the... Rose said lightsaber, so... Yes. Good job, Rose. <laughs> um, and if you... Just close your ears if you heard that answer. St if you want, still, still want to get... got it right, too. <laughs> Good job, Stacey. Um, but if you want, still want to guess on these when this video posts, you're more than welcome. Hannah will provide a key for you guys. Um, finally... Um, we have all these great books you can um, check out now because guess what, guys? The library is open. Um, these are really good with, adult books. With limited services, um, so you can actually come in. But we also do provide curbside service if you're still leery about coming into the library. So you can come in and check out all these wonderful science fiction titles here at the library. Um, and that's pretty much all the time we have for the day. I hope that you'll tune in and like our video. Um, and anyway, uh, just uh, leave comments and hopefully um, we will be able to do this next month. I'm hoping that we will be able to. Um, and just thank you guys for tuning in. Also, any kind of theme ideas you wanna see for me to, for me to draw, um, please send those over to Hannah too as well. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in to Distance Drawing. Thank you. Bye.